Hi, I am Derek McGilvery. Why did I choose to be a celebrant? In my capacity as a happy medium, where I am an intuitive life coach and complimentary therapist, I discovered I had this amazing ability to foresee weddings, births and other life events. As a result, I was often asked to do wedding ceremonies or invited to christenings of newly born babies. When at some of these events, I often thought that the events did not do justice to the couple, as often they didn't get what they wanted and had to follow set protocols and please family, church or others. So I decided to train as a civil celebrant and offer the couple more options so they could be in control of their specialty. In June 2019, I completed an NOCN Level 3 Diploma in Celibacy, Baby Naming and Couples. I was trained by Civil Ceremonies Limited, who are one of the top rated trainers and regulated by the government body of Qual. I am a deeply spiritual person and believe in the concept of unconditional love. Love should be celebrated and a ceremony is a commitment to show that love. I created a happy ceremony for that reason, to offer personalised ceremonies for my clients. My motto is seal your love with a ceremony and a smile. Some of the ceremonies I offer are wedding ceremony, baby naming, Scottish hand fasting, renewal of civil partnership or wedding vows, commitment ceremonies, divorce ceremonies, I operate from Elgin and Murray, Scotland, but I prepare to travel anywhere in the UK. I was already travelling throughout the UK and the islands, putting on shows for my work as a happy medium. I had a lot of ceremonies booked, but due to the COVID-19 restrictions, they have been rescheduled to next year. I've been a public speaker for over 25 years. I'm a very confident speaker, and I'm often the one who calms others down, who are involved in the events I attend, also take charge when things don't go to plan. I use humour, kindness and compassion, plus I use my empathy skills to assist you and your family. I like to take the time to get to know you so that I can ensure that your ceremony is personal and make it unique to you both. You can have as much of your own input as you wish on your happy celebration day. I love to connect to you and your guests so that everybody feels a part of the day and not just a spectator to it. We work together, we make it unforgettable. Here is some of what happens. You find your dream venue or ask for a recommendation. Contact us to hold your preferred date. Contact the registration office. Intent to marry, book your signing day. Begin creating your unique and personal ceremony. Whatever the occasion, I look forward to working with you to create a special and personal ceremony, reflective of who you are and without any restrictions on location, content, format or style. My ceremonies are warm, personal and relaxed and can be as romantic and sentimental or upbeat and as quirky as you wish. It's your day, so let's make it really special and unforgettable for you. Your wedding ceremony I can officiate at a ceremony for couples of any gender that follows your legal marriage or partnership formalities, either the same day or sometime afterwards. You can share your love for each other with your family and friends in the ceremony that you really want. In Scotland just now, only humanist celebrant can legally marry you and you have to follow a humanist format. You don't have to follow any format with myself as I'm not tied to any religion, but I am fully insured. The law is hopefully changing soon, but all trained celebrants will be able to legally marry. You can have the church minister, priest, marry you or a register at or before your ceremony. It's up to you. Most of my clients just need to say to the register that they want to get married but do not want the ceremony with the register. They then get a form to sign and the costs are low. 
My ceramides do not replace your legal formalities, but are designed to be a perfect solution to many dilemmas. If you can say yes to any of the following situations, then the wedding celebration ceremony is for you. You want your ceremony in a private house or garden. You want your ceremony outside, maybe in a marquee. You want to get married abroad, but also want to share your wedding celebration with the family and friends when you return. You want your ceremony in a particular venue that is not licensed for marriages or civil partnership. You want religious or cultural traditions which are not allowed at a registered office or in a religious ceremony. You want to include spiritual, religious or symbolic elements with a special meaning to you. If it's a personalised ceremony that you design with my help, conduct it in front of all your family and friends in any location that you choose. These ceremonies are for couples of any gender. I can also provide a PA system as I use them for my other events anyway. Why use us for your happy ceremony? Personalise the start of your wedding with a happy ceremony with the words that are all about you. With the ceremony led by wedding celebrant myself, Derek McGilvery, you can choose your own location. Your ceremony will be held anywhere. It does not need to be licensed as the ceremony can be separate from your legal signing. Choose your own time to celebrate at a time that suits you. Because normally only one ceremony a day is conducted, you can pick the time you really want. A ceremony is personalised to suit you. I get to know you so that you can convey your personal story to the guests to make this an unforgettable experience. I am fully qualified and insured. I also trained to offer a naming ceremony. What is a naming ceremony? A naming ceremony is an event which a person or persons is officially assigned a name. Various countries participate in this practice with methods differing all over cultures and religions. The timing at which a name is assigned can vary from some days after birth to several months or many years. Your naming ceremony can be specially created using your own selection of words, poems and readings either from a wide selection that I can provide or from other sources. During the ceremony, a special commemorative certificate is signed and presented. There are many ways to make your child's ceremony a very personal, meaningful and unique event for all those involved. I can work with you if you still want your child to be baptised in our church and want a more personal naming ceremony afterwards. Very often a baby naming ceremony is asked for at the same time or before a wedding, especially if couples have children who are being adopted or changing names. It helps make the joining of families more memorable. Apart from a normal ring blessing, giving and ring ceremony, you can also have lots of other symbolic acts within ceremonies. And fastest ceremony is probably requested most by the couples in Scotland. You may have wondered where the expression to tie the knot comes from. It refers to the traditional Celtic rule of hand fasting, which is recognised as the contract of a marriage. Hand fasting may be unfamiliar to many of you, so I'll explain a little about it. Hand fasting was originally more like an engagement or trial marriage where two people would declare a binding union between themselves for a year and a day. After a year went by, they could separate or decide to permanently enter a full marriage. Very often, if there was no child or pregnancy, this is what happened. Hand fasting was suppressed in 1664, but was still considered amongst many as a legal form of marriage in England until 1753, when it was outlawed. In Scotland, it continued until 1939, hence the stories of elopement to Gretna Green to be married over the anvil. Candle lighting. The bride and groom each light a candle 
to symbolise their separate lives before their formal union as a married couple. In a partnership of equals, such as the one which they have each partner cares for the other through difficult times and good times. They will share the laughter and the tears, the joy and the sadness, as well as the companionship and tranquility of simply being together. But at the same time, they will continue to respect each other's individuality and uniqueness. And this is symbolized by the two candles. The bride and groom then light a third candle, symbolizing the joining together of their lives in marriage. Three candles will shine forth as its symbols for both their togetherness and of their continuing individuality. Elements well wishing as a unique way to symbolise a union is to celebrate life's essential elements. A well wishing is said to all elements, earth, air, water and fire. There are many ways of doing this depending on where the ceremony is taking place. Sand ceremony. A marriage is symbolised by pouring together of two individual containers of sand, representing the bride and the groom and all they were and all that they are and all that they will ever be. As the two containers of sand are poured into the third container, the grains of sand can never again be separated as they will now be in their marriage. Planting a tree, the tree symbolise a bride and groom's hopes for the future, as well as the beauty and wonder of life. Whether a tree grows tall and strong depends on the nurture it receives. No tree grows alone. They all need the soil, the sunshine and the rain. So too, a marriage needs to be nurtured and a bride and groom will be there for each other through all the scenes of their life together to support, love and nurture each other. Exchange of flowers. The language of flowers has its roots throughout history. Using flowers to send a message probably dates to prehistoric times as a symbolic use of flowers is mentioned in Egyptian inscriptions, in Chinese writings, and in both Greek and Roman mythology. And so on. The bride and groom exchange white roses which symbolise purity, charm and innocence. The gathering of flowers as your guests arrive, present them with a flower. Each one of these flowers is different, each one is beautiful and each one will add its own unique qualities to the bouquet that will be made when they are gathered together. All of your guests have each brought their own qualities to their, their relationships with you, their own beauty, their own colour and their own influence. And now as they gather together for, the, for their most special occasions, as a nominated person will gather these flowers together, each flower representing their place in the bride and groom's lives. The beautiful bundle of flowers represents the colour and the beauty that each and every person brings into your lives. And with the placing of each flower, the bouquet changes each flower playing its own part and influencing how the final bouquet will look and feel. The bouquet will now be the centrepiece of the ceremony and the dinner and party to follow. Gifts for mothers. This wedding is also a celebration of family. It is a blending of families, separate up to this moment, but united from this day forward, blending their different traditions, strengthening the family tree. Mothers cry when their children are hurt and welcome pain and burden to give their sons and daughters the gift of life. The bride and groom, to honour this blending of families, present a rose to their mothers to thank their parents for the many sacrifices they have made and for their unconditional love so freely given to their children. There's so much more you may wish to consider for your marriage ceremony. Don't forget, some of these gestures can be used for the baby naming ceremonies too. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we also offer services to support you leading up to your big day and even help you save money on your household bills from now on. 
so you can put that money towards your future instead. Feel free to come in or have a chat on Zoom. We could even do a ceremony over Zoom until you could have that real special day. Ironically, I have been asked lately for this already. Check my website for more information, ahappyceremony.co.uk. Contact myself, Derek McGilvery, on 074-6811-9635. Email derek at ahappyceremony.co.uk. Address is 7 Main Road, Elgin, IV30 1NY. Once restrictions lift, we can meet you at your home or future venue. Thank you.